everyone this is Doxy mom and welcome back to my channel if you haven't done so already I greatly appreciate if you hit that little red subscribe button you can ring the bell for notifications and if you like this video just give it a thumbs up well miss peanut and I are here today to bring you the news in 15 minutes or less so let's get started I want to start you out with a tweet by John Gabriel and it goes like this in the past few days, Trump tweets have gotten the Democrats to identify themselves with the squad, Baltimore, and Al Sharpton. Do they know an election is coming up? Well, and speaking of the squad, now the Gateway Pundit is reporting some good news. Apparently, squad member Rashida Tlaib, you remember the number two mayor that wants to be the boss mayor. Well, she barely won her primary in Michigan against five African-American Democrats, and her own father accused her of electoral fraud. Hmm. Well, between her hatred of our wonderful president and Israel accomplishing absolutely nothing while she has started or since she has started, plus, you know, Tom Fenton, him and the other White Hats, well, they're up there cleaning out the, the voter fraud. And so there's only two candidates, apparently, that will be running again next year against Rashid. So, you know, more than likely, she's not going to win. And guys, we just need to pray that she doesn't win, that she finds Jesus and all this rage and hatred inside of her will just dissipate. Now, uh, the Gateway Pundit is also reporting that transcripts obtained from the FBI in a request for information show that James Rubicki, now he was the former FBI chief of staff under James Comey, well, he testified that Russia cons the, that the Russia conspiracy scam came from the Obama White House in October 2016. Well, guys, of course, we already knew this, but it's nice to have it out in print. And, of course, we all know that Seth Rich gave WikiLeaks the documents from the DNC that the server was not hacked by the Russians, but you know they killed that poor nice young man, Seth, just for doing the right thing. Then they went and killed the MS-13 gang members that killed Seth Rich. And guys, this is just awful, and we all know who they are. Anyway, these documents show that Obama's White House made up the lie that Russia hacked the DNC server. So here's the information getting out to all the masses, waking people up. And of course, all of my smart subscribers, we all know that Obama, well, he is in this mess up to his Muslim Brotherhood eyeballs, but we still have to pray for him that he will repent. Now, this next story, it comes from the, the NPS Digest, and I'll leave a link, guys, and it's entitled, U.S. Army Takes Over Pentagon After U.S. Navy Smugglers, ISIS Snipers, and let me start this over again. Um, it is entitled, U.S. Army Takes Over Pentagon after U.S. Navy smuggles ISIS snipers into America to kill Trump. Now, guys, I'm going to link it because this is a long and complicated story, and you can go over and read it yourself. I'm just going to give you the highlights, but apparently this very bad man named Ruslan Maritovich Asanio, and I'm sure that I butchered that name, so we're just going to call him Ruslan from here on out. But he was an ISIS sniper and weapons trainer, and he was captured and inter interrogated by Russian military police. And Ruslan told them that he had been working with an elite group of U.S. Navy SEALs stationed in Iraq. Mm -mm -mm. And these Navy SEALs were to smuggle ISIS snipers that Ruslan had trained into Mexico who would then be met up with U.S. Marines to smuggle the ISIS snipers into America to kill our wonderful president. But thank you, Jesus, this did not happen. Uh, but before Putin would release Ruslan to our FBI, he had told Trump 
what was happening, and President Trump, well, he took Vice Admiral William Moran, the Navy's top uniformed officer who was the vice chief of naval operations and i don't know i don't know if he fired him or just said look you need to retire anyway he was replaced with dr mark esper and the u.s secretary of the navy the senate had to confirm him and they did this very quickly so Trump let Putin know that the U.S. Army was now fully in control of the Pentagon. So Putin ordered the transfer of Ruslan over uh, to, to our FBI. And those Navy SEALs, well, 19 of them and four of their support troops, they've been suspended from duty and ordered back to America from Iraq. And hopefully they're all going to be charged. And those 16 Marines, well, they've been arrested. And of course, the MSM, crickets. Now, guys, like I said, this is a long, complicated story. I'll leave the link. It's just horrible. But, you know, thank you, Jesus, for protecting our president. And we have to pray for that every single day. Now, guys, 17, he's been linking like crazy. I don't have time to go over everything. I'll just shoot you on over to the QMAP. And if you want to look at post number 3541, you click on that, it's going to take you to a tweet from ilovemyfreedom.org where Joe DeGeneva, he's speaking, and he says that he believes the D-Class will come out on Wednesday, July 31st. Now, guys, that's tomorrow. Now, is this a head fake? Because I would have kind of thought they might would have just waited until, you know, everybody took their break. I believe that's happening on August the 5th. However... Um, he said that Barr is ready to give Devin Nunez the documents he's requesting. And, you know, I talked about that in yesterday's report. But, of course, Devin Nunez, he's been asking for all kinds of information for 302s, for applications with the FISA courts, all kinds of things. And G DeGeneva says that Barr's getting ready to give him that. And then he says a series of other releases will come out after that. So it's going to come out in pieces according to Joe, um, but Joe reminds us that this is a criminal investigation of senior DOJ and FBI officials from the Obama administration, including John Brennan, hmm, and his intelligence people that tried to seditiously overthrow the United States president. So guys, this is huge. This is coming out. You know, Joe's telling the masses. Um, so, you know, we just have to thank the good Lord above. And like I said, I don't know if it's going to come out tomorrow, if it's going to come out next week after everybody takes their break. We'll just have to wait and see. But the main thing is, is it's going to come out. And you know, 17 says nothing can stop this. 17 also reminds us that Gitmo has been upgraded and has plenty of space for traders. And then remember when 17 said C before D? Well, he meant that Coates, C, Dan Coates, had to be removed before D class could happen. And it's coming, guys, because Dan Coates, he's out of there. And then over on post 3544, you'll find an article from the Daily Mail entitled Jeffrey Epstein is in danger of being murdered before his trial. Hmm. So, according to a lawyer who represented three women against Epstein over a decade ago, and this lawyer, his name is Spencer Coven, he said that he doesn't think that Epstein attempted suicide, but more likely it was an attempt. It was a hit by one of his powerful friends. So, uh, they've got Epstein locked up in the most secure part of the jail because of this. He's in a cell 23 hours a day with cameras watching everything. And so, if 17 has pointed us to this, then 
That's probably meaning that, you know, Jeffrey, he did not try to kill himself. He did not try to injure himself. It was an assassination attempt. So, guys, you know, we've got to pray for uh, Jeffrey's safety, and we also need to pray for his repentance. And, of course, we need to continue to pray for our president and the White Hats and everyone who is fighting just to get our country back. Now, I wanted to share a couple more tweets with you. Paul Sperry, he tweeted this out. It says, Breaking Coates' ouster at ODNI is just the start of a major Trump shakeup of the intelligence community. More changes are coming at other IC agencies. Well, Greg Rubini, he he replied to um to to uh Perry's um, tweet, and this is what he says. It's about time. 17 intelligence agencies which are not intelligent and spend 90% of their budget to fight each other are totally useless and a waste. We only need five. The NSA, NRO, ONI, DIA, and FBI. And the criminal CIA has to be totally dismantled and destroyed. And I totally agree with these two gentlemen who are true patriots to our country. Well, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Thanks for tuning in. Please share my content. It's free. And until next time, I'm Doxy Mom, and God bless you all.